Maintenant, du côté de Titleist, on a le T200. C'est un fer qui a été très populaire chez les joueurs professionnels pour ce qui est des fers longs. Donc, au niveau des modifications, il fallait être très pointu. Et on écoute à ce sujet Tom Fisher de chez Titleist. No change there. T200 is a great iron for us and has, you know, has, has remained. And, and changes here, there's some big changes, you know, cosmetically in this, all right? We, uh, um, and again, it's all around feel. T200 was a really, really good performing iron, but if there was a light, slight knock about it, it was how it sounded, how it felt. And so that's been the biggest improvement in this area. Again, sound is frequency, is vibration. So you have to, you know, we do thousands of simulations to make sure that we've got the, seek, the frequency just right. So again, how have we done that? Tungsten weighting. We've done that through improving the max impact in this iron as well. Really helped to improve the sound, but also the performance. Max impact is not only helping sound, but it's helping ball speed and forgiveness across the face. And the other thing that we've done, which has been huge, is, is the back plate. We've improved the process in which we actually insert the plate in the back, but also uh, if you look underneath this plate, there is a design, there's a pattern behind it. And that's also by design to help it improve the sound and the feel of that iron. Eman, pour obtenir un meilleur mariage selon le, le modèle choisi chez Titleist, on a une particularité intéressante. Effectivement, un offset qui demeure le même sur toute la série T mm -hmm. et euh, un look progressif, même si on veut changer de ceci. Et quand on parle de offset, c'est en fait la courbe de compensation. C'est la liaison entre le col de la tête et la face. Donc, ça, ça propose le même look comme tu, euh, comme tu viens de le, le mentionner. Maintenant, 